By the end of this video, you will know how to create custom sidebars for your WordPress website. I will show you how you can do this with three different free plugins. Before we start, I want to make something clear. The plugins that I am using will help you to create different sidebars for different pages. You cannot choose the place they are displayed. They can only replace the existing sidebars or widget areas. For example, if your theme has the sidebar on the left, you cannot change the position of that sidebar to the right. You can only change the widgets that are displayed on a specific page on that sidebar. If you want to change the um, place of your sidebar, you either have to choose a different theme or you have to modify your current theme, uh, your current theme's layout to support that placement. So let's get started. I've created a fresh WordPress install for the purpose of this demo. Uh, and it's using the 2017 WordPress theme. The first thing that we have to do is go under WordPress admin, go under plugins, add new, and search for sidebars. The first plugin that we'll be using is the custom sidebars dynamic widget areas manager by WPMU dev install and activate. Next, you want to go under Appearance and Widgets. And you see that um, this page is a bit different than it used to be. We have the custom sidebar sidebars um, column here where, we, where the custom sidebars that we are creating will be displayed. To create a new sidebar, you click the, this button, create a new sidebar, give it a title and a description and create sidebar and you now you can just uh, drag and drop the widgets that you want to use for this sidebar i will i will be using the calendar widget and i'll give it a title save and the way that you will display this sidebar on a post or on a, or on a page you have to go on that post or page so uh, posts i'll be using this post you have a new section on your right side where you can see the sidebars and you can select which one you want to replace with uh, which one. So the blog sidebar, you can replace it with the test sidebar. You click update. And if you preview the page, you can see that now it displays uh, the calendar widget that I used for the test sidebar. If we go to a different post, you can see that uh, this post is using the default sidebar. As I told you, it's pretty. Um, it's only replacing the um, the content of the sidebar, not the position, and you don't have that option. Um, it's this process. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to um, install the plugin and do some clicks and. That's about it. The next plugin that we'll be using is um, Lightweight Widget Area Plugin. I'm clicking Install and Activate. Um, I will skip this part for now. It will redirect you automatically to the content aware, the place that you can add or remove uh, custom sidebars. Basically, what you have to do to create a, a new sidebar, you have to click Add New. And here you, uh, you have some conditions that you want for your new sidebar to be displayed on. Um, and you can choose by special pages, author, page template, uh, post type, taxonomies, and so on. 
and I will choose uh, for this demo the post and blog. And basically this will appear on the posts and blogs. Under action, you can choose uh, what you want your sidebar to, to do. If you want to replace the block sidebar with the content of your new sidebar, or if you want to merge, it will just um, uh, add the, your content, your content of the new sidebar to the block sidebar or the uh, the sidebar that you select. Uh, force replace will uh, replace it. Will try to replace it um, more aggressively. If for some reason um, uh, the sidebar will not be replaced and shortcode, uh, you will uh, get a shortcode that you can place under uh, the sidebar that you are using. Um, I will choose to replace the sidebar and I will, um, and I will re replace the block sidebar. The merge position will not uh, it doesn't matter because you are replacing it. If you will to if you click merge, you can select where you want your uh, new, your widgets to appear on the top or of or on the bottom of the uh, the sidebar that you are merging with. So I will click replace uh, design. If you know some custom CSS, if you, if you know some CSS, you can add here you can add some classes and you can customize the way that the sidebar is looking but i will leave this open schedule you can choose when your sidebar will be active and where when to deactivate it uh, this is good if you are you have like a flash sale or a limited time uh, sale or post or offer or some sort that you want to display only on uh, some periods of, of time like a day or two okay so i have to give it the title okay create to add widgets to this sidebar you have to go under appearance and widgets and you see that I have this sidebar here, my sidebar that I created. And this will replace the block sidebar. Um, and I will drag, you can drag and drop a widget. And save. And if you go to post, you see that the blog post was replaced with uh, this sidebar. To replace it only for specific for specific posts, you have to go um, under uh, the uh, content aware and view your sidebar and under under the conditions, you have to select a specific post. and uh, i selected the hello world post if i'm refreshing the the other post that i have on on this website you'll see that uh, the the default sidebar will appear and for the hello world uh, post you'll see that the um, custom sidebar will appear Um, this one has few more few more options that the other one uh, that the that the other plugin has. Um, for example, if you can merge you can merge uh, widgets into um, into a sidebar and also you have the schedule if you want the sidebar to be active just for for some days or on on a date uh, for me this is a bit more uh, complicated process uh, to just create different sidebars for different posts because i have to go in multiple multiple places just to select the sidebar that i want to display uh, on a post, but it's still a good option. The other plugin that uh, 
I will show you how to use to create um, custom sidebars is this one lightweight sidebar manager stop and activate to create a new sidebar a new custom sidebar with this plugin you have to go under appearance and sidebars add new give it a title You have to choose which sidebar you want this custom sidebar to replace. You can choose to display this sidebar under uh, some conditions. Um, I will give it to, I want to replace it for all posts. And I will hit publish. And to add widgets to this sidebar, you have to go under widgets and you'll see that I have this sidebar created here you can add some widgets to to your your sidebar so i'll add the calendar one and if we go to our posts you'll see that the default sidebar the the blog post sidebar was replaced with uh, my custom one to to replace the sidebar only for a specific uh, page or post you have to go under under sidebars and under my sidebar the um, uh, display on you have to uh, select specific uh, page uh, pages posts or taxonomies and here you can select for you can search for a page and I will select this uh, post you can add multiple um, multiple posts or pages click update and on the if i ref, if i refresh the test post i'll see that the default sidebar is here and if i refresh the hello world post you see that the um, uh, calendar the custom sidebar is here uh, this uh, plugin is similar to the previous one but you have fewer options you don't have um, the schedules, the schedule, or you don't have the uh, ability to merge your sidebar to another one. But it's a pretty straightforward process um, and a good option too. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to be notified when I will release another WordPress tutorial, subscribe to my channel.